What is up guys, Jake from One Hive here with the next war recap video and this one was a crazy one. The Heavy Hitters 2. Um, I don't know how we got matched up with these guys. We had like 5.11s, uh, let's see, and I don't know, what are those? Uh, I don't know, 5.11, 10, 10, something like that, just ballparking it. Uh, these guys were, <laughs> they had like 7.11s. Um, all the way down to like 20 something as 10s and 9.5s and it was just crazy. I don't know. It was, a, it was a weird matchup. Obviously they had some lower level bases, not like town hall wise, but, uh, defense wise, hero wise, things like that. I guess that made the numbers work. Uh, but it's been a while since we've had one this lopsided, but, uh, it was a fun war. As you see one by one star there, uh, which is pretty crazy. We'll get, uh, show these guys with our bases. They got all the uh, 11s two starred, had some town hall 10, three stars, uh, and obviously cleaned up all of the Town Hall 9s. Uh, took some div attacks, things like that, but they got it done. And, uh, you know, we did the same. All 11s were two-starred, several Town Hall 10 three-stars, uh, and just got one more three-star than they did. So extremely close. Made it made it interesting, made it fun. Uh, so good job to heavy hitters. Good job to everybody at One Hive. Let's check out some attacks here. And we're going to watch Crave do this Town Hall 11. Actually, I think they had eight Town Hall 11s because Crave got two of them. Uh, their lowest two uh, with this mass bowler attack. So it does work on some Town Hall 11s. Now, this is not like an anti-3, uh, you know, difficult layout for Town Hall 11, but I like what he did here. Sends a couple of bowlers on the sides, puts the healers on them, helps them create the funnel, drops the jump in the middle with the golem for the distraction of the um, eagle artillery, and then all the, the rest of his bowlers just right up the middle. Some of them are going to stray, obviously. Uh, some actually even come back, so that's good. It was a great funnel he created there. Uh, Warden is in there with them. They're all going to start moving their way forward. Uh, and into the core, once they do, obviously this uh, this Eagle Artillery is going to go down pretty quickly. One more uh, throw there, and it's going to go kaboom. It's gone. Uh, did get his last shot off. That's okay. The bullish and heaters pretty much moved out of the way. Now as he's coming up into these, uh, it's a real compact type base. So this, that free spell, look what it did. I mean, just a lot of a lot of value there. Uh, going to take that one out. The CC troops start coming out. He's got a poison for them, though. I think he drops in here. Surely he does. He's got a few balloons on the side that just comes in on, you know, he's got the air defense out of the way, all that stuff. Uh, the queen is finally going to get onto this Infernal Tower, take it out with help with bowlers. And from there, it's pretty much GG. Uh, it does have that one expo up top that's causing a little trouble for his balloons. Uh, he's got bowlers wrapping around the outside. He's got everything going out the middle. Uh, that's why you can't have these super tight bases like that. Because what did he use? Just one jump spell? I think just one jump. Uh, and just got through there too quickly. Maybe two jumps, I'm not sure. Uh, but you can just get, the bowlers can get to everything too quickly. And that just, uh, you know, causes problems there. The queen's ability goes down, takes out that last defense, and then from there it's just clean up. So nicely done to Crave. Again, a six-star war. Uh, I'm not going to show his other one, just because we already got one of his. Uh, but did a really, really good job, so keep it up, man. Uh, right there's his other one. That was also a Town Hall 11, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, going on down, we had some dips attacks, some 11s going down to 10s. Uh, here's Jake, big uh, fake Jake. Taking out uh, their number 14 and doing it with the Govaho, which I like. Comes in on the right side, Golem going down, Wizards behind that, creating the funnel. Uh, Queen right in behind that Golem, so that's looking good. A couple of uh, Valks up top to create that part of the funnel. He didn't want to waste, uh, like, you know, Giants and Wizards, so he just threw in a couple of Valks. You know, they can tank it up and they can create the funnel pretty easily. So from there, he's got the wall breakers opening everything up. He's got his Golems moving in, um, you know, with the. With the uh, Jimmy, he's got his Valks moving in with a golem there. Uh, lets them just beat through that wall, the first wall, and then has the jump waiting for them in the rage. Get them into that core. I think he dropped a jump, or excuse me, a heal there, and I really don't think he got much out of that heal. Maybe he did it on purpose. Maybe it's a little bit misplaced. I'm not sure. I think it probably would have been better used for his hogs that are coming in from the top right now. Because uh, his Valks, they move through it really quickly because they were raged up uh, and get through and take out all the Infernal Towers, all that good stuff. It's all going down. So that's awesome. So he's just had this one little row of defenses on the bottom here. His Valks are still moving through, and his Hogs are as well. He's got four Hogs in the back. You know, to have a, a Town Hall 10 at this level, uh, at this point, with four Hogs in the back is pretty good. He goes ahead and drops them on the back side here as soon as those defenses get distracted. Perfect timing on that. And as you can see, just a few defenses left. They're going to go down to the Hogs. Perfect job. Just destroyed that base. Awesome job, Jake. Uh, Queen's still up. King's still up. He's got Hogs still up. He's got Wizards up. Uh, he's looking. He's got a few Valks up in there still. Look at that. Nicely done, man. All right, moving on here. Let's see. Let's check out some Town Hall 9 action. Uh, let's see, 18. No, I'm sorry, this is Town Hall 10 still. Sorry, I've got one more Town Hall 10. Uh, Jimmy 
taking that down. This is that box within a box space that you see, you know, all the time. I think people really got to stop doing this. It's it's getting to where people uh, all across the game can three star this space. You know, it's just one of the. It's just like the general back in the day. It really is. At first, people struggled with it. It's like, oh, how do you do this? My troops just won't go to the core. And then once you figured it out, it was like, oh, the general again. That's what this base is starting to become uh, for Town Hall tens. The ones that have the hero levels, the ones that know how to do it. It's just like the general. It's just muscle memory at this point. So. I encourage you guys, if you are running a base like this or similar to this, it is time to change it. Figure out something else because this one's not working. You see he comes in with his queen on the bottom here. She just queen walks it in, uh, takes out some defenses, grabs the CC with one hog there. Nice, easy lure. Brings that over with a poison and takes out those troops. We'll fast forward a little bit because that's no big deal. There it goes. All right, King and Golem coming in from the top side. Wall breakers there as well. Open that compartment up. Going to let them start moving in. Uh, he does have a jump spell, but he's going to hold on to that if I remember right. Uh, wait for his uh, entry into the into the core. But th these troops over here, the King, the Bowlers, the, the Golem there, their job is to create this part of the funnel. The Queen's done her job. Sorry. The queen's done her job. She created her part of the funnel. King's going to create his part of the funnel, which he's done now, just successfully with the bowlers. And here come the Valks. They're going right where are they going. There's nowhere for them to go, right up the middle. Once they get into the core, this base is done. I mean, he's got the freeze. He's got the rage. He's got the jump for him to let him right in. Uh, nothing to distract him. Here comes the freeze in just a moment. He's got him raged up. That's perfect. A nice value on the freeze there. Uh, there they go. They're going to get onto the queen. She's going to go down. Uh, nice long freeze and that maxed out freeze. And now the Inferno Tower is down before Eden comes out because those Valks clear so fast when they're raged up like that. And now really there's nothing that can stop him. This queen by herself, if he had the time, could take the rest of this base out. Uh, but he's still got Valks up. He's still got a, a hog to deploy. Uh, still got a, these Golemites are still up doing some tanking. Uh, obviously this is an easy three star. So really nicely done by Jimmy. That's all you got to do. Create those funnel on both sides. Take out some trash buildings. Take out some defenses. Send your Valks right up the middle. If you've got the hero levels and you do it right, it's a pretty easy base to three star. Good job, man. All right, now we got some Town Hall 9 action. Well, 9.5. I love watching 9s hit 9.5. So I don't know why. It just adds that extra degree of difficulty that most Town Hall 9s in the game can't do. I'm not saying my viewers can't. Obviously, you guys probably can. Uh, but if you look around uh, Clash, most Town Hall 9s would not even think about attacking this. Like just, you know, if you're talking about the average uh, player. So it, for some reason, it's entertaining to me. I don't know if it is you guys or not. Uh, but comes in with a couple minions on both sides, just free buildings. Take those out. Drops the queen down. Um, you know, just creating his funnel, making sure everything's going to be pathed the way he wants it to. And from there, he goes ahead and heals up his queen, gets the healers on that. I like those minions. Too. Look at that. They got that thing like halfway down before the queen even got there. That's awesome. Uh, these healers, or excuse me, these minions down here are taking out that high HP storage, which is good. Uh, now everything is looking pretty solid here. He's going to start taking out some defenses. He's got a lot of trash cleared out of the way, which is perfect. Um, I can't remember if he comes in through. He goes ahead and rages up here. He's got a lot of point defense on his queen right here. You see, I think like four, maybe, yeah, four point defense on his queen. That's a lot. So good rage there. He's just clearing some, some of the defenses out of the way. He wants to get in and get this CC lure. That hog was a little bit early. should have waited till that was down, but... It still made the, get the job done. He didn't even deploy that second hog, uh, but no big deal. He goes in, helps out, take the the, um, the uh, excuse me the expo out of the way. Now the troops are out there. He poisons up, keeps them you know keeps them slowed down. The damage slowed, and then that queen is she's fine. You know with it with the poison on and the healers on her, she's fine. Uh, so she's going to wrap on around. You got a nice chunk of the base taken out there. Got the troops taken care of, and she's going to come over here and get to this queen eventually. Uh, the wall breakers go in, let the Valks come in. Uh, you know, right through it into the core of the base. He's got those 16 hogs he's hanging on. He's being nice and patient. Look at this. He's got less than a minute left, and he's only got 45% of the base. He takes the rest of the base out in less than a minute. That's pretty impressive. Uh, you see the double giant bomb set going off there. The rest of the hogs moving through. You see he's got, he's got this one area. This is the only threat left in this entire base is that uh, Tesla farm, the X, the expo, the, the wizard towers, all of that. He just heals it up, sends up most of his hogs right in on top of it and heals it up. Uh, the king's doing some tanking. That's perfect. Because uh, they're not all, if all of that was targeting his hogs, they would chew him up pretty quickly. Um, but they weren't. So his hogs just worked their way through it nice and nice and steady. Take out that last defense, and boom, that's a three star. Nicely done to Diesel. All right, fast forward through that one. Got a few more. I don't need to forget my uh, patron shout out. I know I'm going to forget that. If I don't, let me move this paper over here where I see this. All right, there we go. All right, uh, let's see. If that was Diesel. Yeah. All right, let's just drop one spot. LB, Lord Byron. I hadn't seen him in a while. I mean, obviously, he's been worn some. Uh, we just hadn't watched the replay yet. So here you go, LB. Welcome back to the wars. Um, let's see. Going in with the Govaho here. He's got the four healers. He's got the queen. 
again on 9.5. So these guys had quite a few 9.5s, and we're down on like number 23 of a 40-man war. So you see, you see what I'm talking about. The, the, the town hall lineup was just a little bit crazy. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. What's LB doing here? Okay. Comes in on the left side. Got his heaters down on his queen. Looking good there. Got a couple minions up top. They're going to get some free buildings uh, out of the way. And he's just going to let it develop here. Obviously, you just always want to be patient with that. You want to make sure you're just letting the queen take out whatever objective she is after. Uh, try to make sure she goes the direction you want. I don't know. Sometimes I have trouble still. Uh, you know, I guess I don't put enough time in really looking at the counting piles, all those things that you need to do. If you really want to be successful with your queen walks, you have to put the time in. That's all there is to it. Uh, it takes a little bit of study and, and a little bit of uh, planning, but once you do, she's pretty predictable. So here he goes. Queen's coming down. Nice poison right there on the CC troop. That's a pretty dangerous uh, little CC comp he's got there. I uh, got the baby dragon, a wizard, and a couple of Valks, if I saw that right. Uh, that can really hurt your queen, but uh, LB played it just right. Put the poison down. Put the rage down. Let her do her thing. You know, they really... They're not going to put out that much damage, especially with that poison, which slows all their attack speeds way down. Uh, the queen's going to wrap, wrap on around. King, some Valks coming in from the top side here. He's got the wall breakers already opened it up, and there's the jump spell to let them get to that queen and into the core of this base. So they're going to move through. Nice heal spell right there. That's perfect. A lot of damage coming into those Valks, but with that heal spell, most of them are going to be fine. Uh, the king's there backing them up, so that queen's the next target. She starts going down pretty quickly. I actually think he lost quite. There was a giant bomb there. If I'm, it's hard to tell. No, there wasn't a giant bomb. He lost quite a few Valks there. I'm not sure. It might have been a little, a little bit slow on this heel. Uh, but the king's going to get in there. He's going to get the job done. And again, he's got his hawks. Here they come, uh, just sort of spreading them out. He does have a heal spell for them. Uh, so you see the giant bombs going off in the core. That's what you want to see. You want to see them bombs out of the way, because especially on these 9.5s, they've got an extra one. Uh, so you got to be really, really careful. Hogs moving their way through. He's got three. He's holding on to. You see, he's got still got a couple of potential giant bomb spots. He's probably a little bit worried about. Wanted to make sure there. He finally uh, goes ahead and drops them last three in. They move over, take out of this expo. Uh, but again, look at this. Only two bombs going off so far. It's like, where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of them? And oh, he's gonna find them here in just a moment. Don't worry. Uh, takes out one right there. Boom. It goes off. Here comes another one. Boom. Skeleton traps flying around. He drops the poison. Uh, this. Tesla just goes down in between that and the skeletons. He's got one hog left with like a sliver of life, but the base is pretty much done. So nicely done to LB. Good job, man. All right, a couple more here. Let's see, dropping down to 27, checking out Ben. Nice attack. This is like the Govaho video. I don't know. Just what just what we're doing this for. I mean, it was just we knew we couldn't be wasting a lot of attacks. You know, there's so many bases to hit. There's so many tough bases to hit. Again, 9.5. You know, we're down to 27 now out of 40, and we're still on on 9.5. So we knew there was going to be some tough some tough attacks. You know, we just didn't have that many Town Hall 10 and 11 attacks to go around. Uh, so these guys had to step up and get the job done. Drops his queen in the bottom. Uh, more healers on her. She's just going to sort of walk her way up. Drops this one uh, hog in. He, I think it's probably just distraction for those wall breakers right there is all he really wanted to do, which was nicely done. Uh, that's going to open that up, let the queen sort of step into the pocket there, take out more defenses, take out some more trash. She does have those couple of um, high HP storages there, but, but before she gets to that, she's actually going to take, uh, well, his queen got really low. His rage was late, and so he, because of that, the payment was he had to use her ability too. So now... He's got CC troops coming out, and he's got no ability, uh, so he dro quickly drops that poison down. Uh, luckily, the healers are still raged up, so that's good. Double poison because that witch is lagging behind, so that's exactly how you want to play that. You see, she never even makes it to the queen. Uh, beautiful job. So now the queen's safe. I got the golem coming in up top. Wizards behind it, starting to create some trash, uh, clear some trash, create the funnel. Uh, wall breakers going in, and here comes the redheads running right into that top compartment. Got the king, the queen in there. Obviously, they're going to lock onto them pretty quickly and take them down. Uh, jump spell. I, I guess he was really just want, not wanting the jump spell to connect to that compartment on the right with the air defense and the wizard tower. It was a little bit exaggerated, but hey, it worked. You know, those, that part was connected. The core was connected. It was all good. Drops that heal spell down for those Valks. I uh, did have that one balloon there. It was a nice, nice touch, I thought. Queen's still working. There that guy's. She's still working. She's about to walk right into this um, Tesla farm as well. And I love how she just sort of catches them one at a time. Only one of them hitting at her at a time. Uh, that was perfect. And then the golem steps in. He distracts one. It was just great. Uh, all the hogs coming in from the bottom there. Heals them up and gets the Valks, the, the hogs, the king, all of that in one heal. That's what you call good spell placement. And from there, it is just a matter of cleanup. So really, really clean uh, surgical attack by Ben. I really enjoyed that one. Good job, man. All right, one more here, and we will wrap this one up. Uh, we're going to check out Dax. 
doing his attack on 31. Taxi. All right. I want to show this one because it's a super compact type base. These are always the ones that we talk about in against example of when I think Quake spell was wasted. Uh, it's a beautiful attack. I'm not trying to uh, say anything bad about that. It was a great attack. But a jump spell, the way Valks move, the way his kill squad would move through this base, a jump spell right there does the exact same thing and saves him two spell slots because those Quakes, or excuse me, one, yeah, two spell slots, yeah. Uh, the, the Quakes there, um, the Valks would have moved through it. There's no going back. You know what I mean? I showed you that one base where they there was backtracking. There's no backtracking here. They're constantly moving forward in this. Yes, there's a little bit of left and right motion right here, but look how quickly they, it goes away. If he had dropped the jump spell right as they broke through that first wall, or you know, after he wall broke that first wall, look at this. They're already through it. I'm not fast forward. It's over. There's no reason for any of those troops to be... The, the Valks are already through. Uh, so he's in great shape here. Uh, but what I loved about the stack is watch how tight he keeps his hogs. The number one mistake people make on these type bases is they spread their hogs too thin. And when they drop that heal spell, they're only healing four, maybe five of their hogs. He's healing every hog he's got right here. They're going back to full health. Uh, that makes all the difference in the world. So that's exactly what you want to do. Beautiful attack. You see how quickly everything starts going down here. Queen's wrapping around, but that doesn't matter. She's still taking out defenses. Uh, last few defenses right there in the core. Boom. Gone. King's ability still up, still got Valks up, still got Hogs up. Just a wonderful attack. Again, I just think it was a little bit of wasted spell usage, but hey, you know, three stars to three star. Excellent job, Dax. All right, guys, there you go. That was this war. Awesome job. Uh, again, to Heavy Hitters 2, awesome job to One Hive. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The shout out today, my patron shout out goes, oops, I had the wrong paper there, sorry. The patron shout out goes to uh, Samir from Power COC. So shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. I uh, really do appreciate it. Guys, go check the link in the description if you want more information on how you can get a shout out. Until next time, Jake from One Hive, doing my best to help you guys suck less.